my attraction to Gareth initially was technique and craftsmanship. He's He's a fantastic craftsman, and I have the highest regard for craftsmanship. This sounds arrogant, but when I look out there, I mean, I can see how things are made, and I, I can usually figure out how they're made. But a lot of times when I see Garrett's stuff, I don't, I'm don't. i just always kind of, wow, he did a really good job. I mean, that's technically really great. I think it's going to be the most important show of Garrett from the beginning. You know, I was going to his first show in London and it's where I fell in love with what he does. And I think as a grown-up designer now, it's what he's doing again. Like there is all the, not the craziness, but the poise in something crazy because he is doing uh, clothes with bin bags. So it's a kind of couture. I think this kind of show is very yours, kind of. So me. I mean, every those gowns and, you know, goth couture, it was spectacular. Cher was blown away. So, I mean, it was, I mean, breathtaking. And the makeup and the hair, unreal. So many pieces here that, you know, were, you know, it's like, this is what everyone should have been wearing walking down the red carpet at the Academy Awards. I mean, there's something so fabulous and unusual, not just the kind of, not a, it's not a dress, it's much more than a dress. Oh, that one fabulous leather, I think it was like, I don't know if it was leather, I can't remember now, but it went across like that and it was like edge stitching and then straight down and dress that had the little pieces, it looked like little pieces of paper, but it was like the little strips, you know, the, it was a little bit more of the tailored one. The, the, there were so many, they were, it wasn't what I was expecting at all. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was, I was staggered. I was like, oh my God, I was like fanning myself. The cream uh, jackets were really good, very luxurious fabric, yes, yeah. Yes, we'll talk about the collection, we'll talk about the mood of the collection and and also in a sense where or how we want to depart from the music we did previously. Um, and we talked about, I mean Gareth kept saying that he wanted there to be this kind of strong sort of bed underneath the music and then there to be this kind of lone voice which was somehow kind of rising and dipping and disappearing and coming back up. And so we had that in the kind of melody of the violin. Um, and so in a way, I felt like we used the violin as a woman's voice. We actually found um, a reference for a tribe of women who live in the Carpathian Mountains. It sounds very romantic, um, but they're a tribe called the Escada. Um, and they are a tribe of women who live kind of completely autonomy of men and they kind of arm themselves and train themselves and sort of have formed this sort of outsider sort of society. So it's kind of, you know, there's pictures of them on um, online and things like that with these huge kind of like sportswear tops and big kind of drindle skirts and I quite, I really like that idea of something quite masculine up top and something quite traditionally quite feminine on the bottom.